And we're back with some more San Diego Crusaders franchise. This time it'll be the NFC Conference Playoff. And uh, the title of this episode might even be called We Meet Again. Because we meet again with the Seattle Seahawks once more. Uh, we did play them uh, towards the end of the season. We lost that game quite clearly, 28-14, and uh, it wasn't pretty. It really wasn't pretty. This time, we get a chance to redeem ourselves. Um, we get another shot at them, but this time it counts even more. A regular season win, of course, is, is nice, and sometimes it is the difference between first seed and second seed, as in our case. But right here, right now, this is the decider between going through to the Super Bowl or not. And that is, uh, that is actually quite nice. I like that. I like that. And we're going to uh, try to live up to the challenge. Um, just moving through the stats down there. So you can see offensively, the Seattle Seahawks are extremely good. 99 overall. The defense, 97 overall. 98 overall. So, yeah. I mean, this is, this is certainly not going to be a cake cakewalk. And uh, Bryce Young... Well, he's just one of the best quarterbacks around currently. The weekly awards, Bryce Young got one, Miles Garrett got one, Damien Harris and Divine Diablo. So there we go. Six tackles, two sacks for Miles Garrett. Let's try and replicate that, shall we? Do we try that against Bryce Young? Well, I would like to do so. We don't have a lot to take care of this week. All we need to do is check up on the roster of the Seattle Seahawks. Do they have anyone injured? And then we will be off into the game. This time, because we will be saving some time, I will just be moving through this, uh, commenting it, and not uh, not doing any cuts. So there we go, Bryce Young, nobody is injured. We just played them, so I will not be doing any analysis here. Um, I just wanna see if there's anybody injured. Key injuries might help us a little bit, might uh, make an adaption of the play style necessary, but the way that I'm looking at it, I'm looking at a fully fit squad, uh, Marquis Gracial is injured, but that is not even the starter here. Um, this team was so hard hitting. Look at all those 90 rated players in here. Even the backup players are extremely good. Uh, the corners are fantastic. The free safeties are good. The strong safeties are fantastic. And this is just a team without any real, uh, any real weaknesses. Just take a look at all those 90s, 99s. So many 90 players. And I'm still moving down the list. Chidobi Awuzi is the first one. And if you look through this, there's basically a player on each position. There's only a few positions that are not set with 99 rated players. And that, of course, will pose a certain problem. So what do we do? How do we stop Bryce Young? Defend the deep pass. That is uh, the recommendation. Hmm. I don't know. We did go with the short pass. I think that didn't work that well, simply because we also had the problem of the run game that was hitting us pretty hard. So that is what we will be trying to focus on this time, the deep passing. Uh, we will try and focus on the blitz counter. I will listen to the suggestions here. I don't know if it really worked as well to go with the inside run. We really had a lot of problems simply. And um, yeah, what we're going to be doing here is just trying to save, uh, save our, our strength, uh, keep everybody fit not risk any more injuries and uh, yeah apart from that I think we can just dive into the game and into the training all right so nothing happened in training no injuries luckily let's take a look at the upgrades we have two for our backup midline backers Zach Cunningham there we go one upgrade to field general now 88 overall 84 no actually 83 pace I don't even know where the buff is coming from at the moment but it doesn't matter too much and Chelsea Jewel Another player that I really like a lot. He is uh, hes just a little bit underrated, I think. But uh, right now, he's helpful for us. Uh, do we check up on the lineup? But let's do that just to take a quick look here. If everything is in order. And it looks like it is. We've got Kappa, we've got Tomlinson here. We've got Eric Flowers behind him. Mike McGlinchey could put Havenstein in there. Uh, at the uh, left guard position. Would that help us too much? I don't know. We're going to leave it as is. Uh, what else is there on defense? Do we have any issues here? Nah, not really. I can't see any. I cannot see anything. Again, I probably the left outside linebacker position is the weakest that we have. Um, but yeah, we're not going to be delving too much on that. 
There we go. Specialists are set. Everything said and done, guys. Let us dive into the game, the conference championship game against the Seattle Seahawks. It's going to be Lumen Field again. It's going to be us as the away team. And that is going to be a problem. I do hope we have different momentum meters. Here we go. Alvin Kamara, fully motivated. Here's Cortland Sutton. Some defensive players, Jalen Ramsey, number 15. And Bryce Young here. He's such a dangerous quarterback, man. Kenneth Walker and the defense. This is really one of the toughest teams that we've played all season. And it doesn't help that we're the away team. It really doesn't help because momentum, as soon as it starts to shift, you're really in it. The Seahawks are going to be lining up in their uh, standard home uniforms. So there we go. And uh, then uh, we are going to be lining up in our standard away uniforms. As I said before in, in another episode, we don't have that much to choose from. But so be it. So be it. This time, guys. This time. I want to see your work. I want to see no mistakes. I want to see us fight real hard. And I want to get a good result here. We had such problems in the, in the last game. Really did. We were back. We made mistakes. Well, that was not good. Let's see. Hustle accelerates slightly faster. All right. That is good. We are 12. Hold the line. Nerves. All right. That is actually good. We don't have any of those stupid shenanigans there. Now that was awesome. What a good first drive. Losing two yards immediately. Alvin Kamara sort of gets stuck there. Can avoid the tackle. Tries to go over them. Gets stuck again. Then there's people just taking him down. That was absolutely, absolutely fantastic. I want to congratulate you guys on that one. That was a great play. I really fear for our offensive line. I really fear for them. And here we go. We're just going to have to really play clever here. We just have to just and you know just in huge air quotes but we will have to make sure that uh, that we limit the mistakes that we don't give them any cheap turnovers that we get our players in good positions let's try jailbreak screen here Cortland Sutton no that's Michael Thomas all right Michael Thomas and that was a good run I like that one. I liked it so much that I started confusing the names, but whatever. Last second, and everybody was falling over each other. That helped us. But it was just one player here, Catalan. I could get rid of him, but by then everybody else was back on their feet. Well, it wasn't bad. Could have, could have gone worse. It didn't, so that is fine. Gonna be going left here. And whoever that is, is really is breathing super hard. Here we go. Alvin Kamara, we're fired up. We want to win this game, man. And Dallas Goddard picks up an injury. That is not good. That is not good at all. Final score down below. You can see the Raiders beat the Patriots. So it's going to be the Raiders in the Super Bowl. The big question is, Crusaders or Seahawks? I'd like Raiders and Crusaders. It's just uh, has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? So here we go. Higby Ingold is now playing as uh, I think he's, he's stepping up as a tight end. Jordan Brooks with a good hit hard. Ah, Torn Labor. God damn it! That is not good. Dallas got it. We lose our starting tight end. We lose our starting tight end early in the game, and I doubt he'll be back. For uh, for for next week or for for the Super Bowl if we do get there, so let's get Johnny Smith in here, and do we have someone that we could use? We could use Alec Ingold. We could use Bobby Wagner. Oh, he's super low sixty, <laughs> but those are always surprising. I mean, I'm going to be using Alec Ingold, and on the fullback side, who do we use here? Let's use uh, let's use Eric Flowers. Why? 
I don't know. Just think that we could use that. I think it could work. Yeah, that was quick. Number three immediately latching onto him. No time to really get away, no time to let this develop. You can see that the breakthrough was imminent. And number three was on Kamara before there was even a chance to get anything done here. Let's go the double slants. If we don't get this, we're going to go for field goal. We're going to be point collectors today. And there we go, Tyler Boyd. And we break through straight into the end zone. Perfect run by him. Perfect run. He's really been good so far. He has had weird games. But for the most part, he's been really, really good. A very good wide receiver, number three. He's quick. Doesn't get stopped easily. But he had a few problems in. I don't know against who that was. But he just kept getting stuck. Come on, D! That defense cannot hold them. That is a bit of a problem. We... We will have to hope that they can hold or limit them and we'll just have to be producing non-stop on offense. Jordan Brooks, 56, with a quick stop here. Inside zone, let's go. Slightly curving, run here. Do we have a clever play? Do we have something that where we can hit them? Let's try the play action crossers. And we're going to get going now. Go, 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 go. Safe catch. And we move up to the 44-yard line. So far, 5 out of 5 for Josh Allen. Perfect game. Michael Tomlins. Very good. Look at that one. Airing it out. Michael Thomas gets a few yards extra. That was good. Again. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be gushing too much about Michael Thomas, but as a wide receiver number one, I wasn't too big of a fan because he was injured a lot in that season. As a wide receiver number two, I re Jesus, man. <sighs> the switch is so quick. It is so quick. Just take a look at that. There is the, the offensive line crumbles so quickly. Kabam. Take a look at that. Number 65. That's Alex Kappa. He's not a weakling. He's held... There's no gap opening up. It just reaches over and smothers him immediately. That's a lot, a lot of work to be done here. But, all right. but as a wide receiver number two, as I said, look at that. He gets into positions well, and he's good. He's a good wide receiver. The key, I think, for him is he's not a good wide receiver number one. He's a great complementary one. And Cortland Sutton really working well as the wide receiver number one. And number two, well, that's Michael Thomas. Don't really have any qualms with that. Let's go. Some more slants here. Sutton and Thomas. Great sidearm throw. Cortland Sutton, here we go. And he's the one to lead the charge. He's the one to lead the charge. He really, really works hard. He's quick. He's very secure in the catch. Look at that. Pressure was coming. One, two, three. Defenders. But we get it away. Number 14. Getting that done. All right, let's see. Can we get a slip screen to work? Can we get it to work? Right, I will be dragging them backwards. Oh, that has to be quick. That has to be quick. First stiff arm. And then he's down. 17. Ah, no, that did not work. Only two yards. Josh Allen. We had to get rid of it very quickly. It was a lucky catch, but the screens are not working. We're going to go with a smash. Chen and Wosu was uh, very quickly in the tackle here on Alvin Kamara. Quick slant, left-hand side. Two of them going left, uh, going right. Kamara going left, that's what I wanted to say. And here we go, and that is a great run again by Michael Thomas, holding on to that ball. Just gets ahead, stretches slightly. Taking down at number 26. Good one. That was a good one. All right, halfback dive, one yard. Let's get that. Let's get that touchdown, guys. 
And we're in. Finding a little bit space. A little bit of a space here towards the left hand side. Is that, is that even a word? Is that even correct? Finding a little bit of a space. Finding a little bit space. Finding a little space. That's the one. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that one, alright? Finding a little space. <laughs> Forget I ever said anything. Forget I ever said anything. Alright, there we go. Continue. Let's come on. And it's so quick. It is so quick. Guys, are you kidding me? What is the defense doing? That wasn't even a minute. Good God, man. Chen and Wosu picks up an injury here. Number 10 for the Hawks. My Lord. I mean, they do really have a fantastic uh, wide receiving core. Really, really very dangerous. Very good. Very quick. So let's go. Let's try and get this one. Let's get it to Sutton. Secure catch. Going down quickly. 1 minute 15. Off we go. Four verticals. Gonna try and get Higby here. Or Kamara. Try to break the tackle, but that did not really work that well. Let's go the dagger. I see the clock. I do see the clock. I would like to get a field goal. So we have to be very aware of this one here. Now nah, smacked away. 17 seconds. First uh, uncompleted pass for Josh Allen this game. Tyler Higby, left hand side run. Let's go, man. Let's go, Higby. Jesus, man. Yeah, let's punt it. Let's just punt this one. I mean, I'm not a big fan of this, but. I doubt we would get anything better. And for some reason, ah, falling inside. If it would have jumped in the opposite direction. Come on, guys, please. What are you doing? Can we change our, uh, can we change that? No, we cannot. How do we do that? I'd really like to adjust here on the game plan. Uh, that's not it. Anyways, inside zone. 21 versus 14. Our defense is letting us down a little bit here. Jordan Brooks misses a tackle. All right, get your pen. Circle this date on the calendar. Jordan Brooks missed a tackle. Ooh, that was a lot of exposure right there. Very white. A missed tackle. By Mr. Jordan Brooks. And then going out towards the outside. Shoving a little bit here. But then, of course, the takedown always was going to happen. A little bit tired. That the, the left, is it the left mid-linebacker? Cortland Sutton. Getting a first down here. 160 yards today for Josh Allen. So we can be happy with that. But we can't be happy with the way our defense is performing. I would really like to see more of them. Alvin Kamara. He's really working very hard here. We have to give him a little bit of a breather now. And with that, I choose another run play. Good lord, man. Two yards is everything we get. Smith, Ingle, Higby, everybody on the run here. God fucking damn it, man. Can you hold on to the ball? Obviously not. A breakup by Jackson. 60-yard field goal. We can't go for it. We cannot go for it. We absolutely need to go for this. And I'm hating it. I really hate this. Let's go. Michael Thomas, come on. All right, 
That went better than I feared. So there we go. Our number 12 in the third quarter. 1 minute 37. Moving ahead. We get it first down. That was not an easy one. That was not easy. The pressure is so high, really. It is... Um, I don't know if you can... If you can uh, really grasp that. But it is just the way that... Oh, my God. All right. That was a very good run. Breaking about a thousand tackles right there, Alvin. So that was good. Around seven yard line. But the pressure that we have uh, on the team here, on the offense, from that defensive team, against any other team, I would have been clean through. But not here. There's so many players that are hard hitting, brutal players, and really just putting a lot of pressure on you. Freaking hell, man. You morons. Did you see that? They ran into each other. Keep an eye out for him here. Look at that. Bump. And that is basically holding him off. Otherwise, he's back there. Now, that is not exactly what I wanted to see. That is not what I wanted to see. Let's go with an inside zone here. Left-hand side run. We're going to try this. It is seven yards. That should be doable. I need a block. <laughs> Jordan Brooks. Slamming into Alvin. And that just puts him down. So we're at the one yard line. Right hand side run. Alvin Kamari. Starting to breathe hard. What the? So the quarter comes to an end and we're 14 versus 21. I'd like to say that we're the more productive team, but somehow that would be strange, right? So a halfback dive. I hope everybody's rested because we need to get in there. We need to get in there. How do we do that? A halfback dive. I think that is that is what we need to do. Ah, and we don't get the damn touchdown. Fucking hell, at the one yard line. Shit. At least our defense holds them. That is something to savor a little bit. If we were, if we had the win, if we had the touchdown before, that would mean that we would be, we would be at least getting the chance to take the lead here. Oh my god, and I run into my own man. Man, the Seahawks are pissing me off right now. I absolutely hate that. I hate games like this. I said it before, and it still stands. It still stands. This is just super annoying. Super annoying. Oh, number 18, Catalan throws himself on the path of Michael Thomas here, who's been very good today. 128 yards. You really can't fault him. Really can't fault him at all. I'm going to try and get him with these slants here. Ah, they try to slam the players, but uh, luckily Cortland Sutton and... Michael Thomas are very good in the contact and holding onto the ball. But, yeah, this is a hard one. But we weren't able to get in there from three yards. Uh, one yard even. Oh, dude, that really, that hurts so much. You can't even imagine. Wow, what a hit. What a freaking hit on Alvin Kamara here from the right-hand side. He was going straight. I saw the gap opening. I really felt like this was going to be it. Second and in inches. Let's go. Halfback dive. We're going to try and make him think that uh, it's going to be a run game. And I will be going outside with Higby. Fucking hell. Third and shit. Jesus, man. Oh. Higby didn't get going. Two-minute warning hits us. 
Oh man, this is really... <laughs> this is one of those opposition teams that is just super annoying. Super annoying. Let's go like this. There's a lot of coverage over there. Can we snap it? Come on. And there we go. Cortland Sutton gets inside. There was a lot of coverage on the right. The left was very open. Come on, defense. Now we need you to step it up. Mackay, get that damn extra point. And everybody else, step it up. Step it up. And they do. All right. 21 21. 1 minute 37. And this at least gives us a small chance. All right. We're going to set up a Y sale. Did that help? I don't think so. Doesn't really feel like it. All right. The left, left side run. Some blocking. Catalan comes inside second and five. Double corner. I'm sure that they will happily, happily, happily take, uh, take the draw here. Come on, Tyler. Uh, we have to we have to call it time out. Shit, we only have one left. Oh, that is bad. That is not good. Yeah, you can hear me cussing a lot. That is the stress, man. <laughs> that is really the stress. I, I mean, I love games like this. Don't get me wrong. But this is really... I don't want to mess this up. Uh, it's as simple as that. Go, 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 and we step it outside. Right, 58 seconds. Matt Gabe starting to practice here. Kablamo. Well, there we go. Do you see how easy that was, Matt? Let's go the dagger. Michael Thomas would be awesome, but Higby works as well. And there we go. 52 seconds. Didn't get to the outside. Can we stop the animations? Thank you. I just want to get going. Well, there we go. Let's go this one here. Johnny Smith or Cortland Sutton. Mm, that would have been very nice. Didn't get it done. All right. Second and 10. We're setting up an ISO. I want to get someone into that right area. We're going to try... Do we try another one? Is that the definition of madness? We're going to go with the slant, but... But we're going to flip it. Right, I, want to, I want to get the runner over there. Cortland Sutton. Come on, man. I need you to get over there. Need you to get over there. Wow, exactly what I was looking for. Perfect throw, Josh Allen. Perfect throw. I don't even know what that was supposed to be. I don't even know what that was supposed to be. We're so far away from the field goal. We have to go for, for a pass play now. This is completely backfired. This is completely backfired. Come on, Cortland. Need you to get over there. Fuck you. Seriously. 62-yard field goal. Well, of course we're going to hit that. And he's going to call a timeout because that's just fair play right there. You bastard. Oh, my God. Seven seconds. I mean, with seven seconds to go, we could theoretically just try a pass play as well. Just go F this. Get as far as we can, grab a timeout then, and then go for the field goal. You know what I mean? All right, off we go. Perfect. Field goal, timeout, timeout, timeout. I'm clicking like a madman, and it's not working. Damn it. 270 passing yards. Well, I really feel like... Let's see, kids. It's tails. Shibby. All right, so they receive, we defend, and this is going to be awesome, I can tell you already. This is going to be awesome. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be the difference between cursing and cursing. It's 
go the normal kick here put that over there towards the right far right if we if i had taken that field goal in the first half by the way we would have won just putting that out there come on defense we need you now and the defense steps up all right and now it is time to play this as clever as i possibly can and that sometimes is something that i struggle with all right there we go good run crunching hits on alvin kamara three minutes and 30 seconds the current situation here we're gonna go towards the lift again i feel like we have have a good run going there I just need a small opening. There we go. Oh, and off we go. All right. At the 26 now. 18 rushes, 117 yards. One touchdown for Alvin Kamara. And this has been a really, really hard game. For everybody involved. And it's going into overtime. And with other teams, that that isn't really a problem. Because it just means that you uh, yeah, just play overtime. But with uh, these older dudes... It means that they uh, are just way more tired. Jack Conklin and the risk of injury goes up. So here we go. How many injuries will we have to endure before we manage to get to the Super Bowl? I don't know. Perfect. All right. I was gliding along the, uh, the, the defensive players on the backs of the offensive line. Seahawks fans not happy. Bruce Children. We have to keep him. We have to keep him. You're just gonna have to bite onion. Bite onion. Bite your teeth together. Bite on it. I don't even know what I'm saying. Jesus. Alright, here we go. Alvin Kamara. Left, right, left, right. Oh, and we're so close. One yard line. First and goal at the one yard line. Oof. Left, right. He's so uh, agile. Really liking this. Really liking this. And here we go. Going to have a halfback dive now. Towards the left. Oh, and we're dragged back to the two-yard line. Once again. <laughs> Jesus, man, I've never had so many stops at the uh, at the one yard line. This is a really, really crazy good defense. But even the best defense cannot hold the best team. And there we go. Alvin Kamara scores. It definitely is a team effort. I don't even know what that dance is supposed to be. But we score a touchdown. Left hand side run. We evade the rushers. Did you see them coming from the right? Good push here by Jack Conklin. Good thing he was back. Definitely needed him. And that is awesome. Because I think, I think that will win us the game. According to the current rules, in the 2023 season, it will not be enough because the opposing team also gets the ball again in any case, even if you score a touchdown. So, that's pretty cool, actually. We win. We win. We are the NFC conference champions josh allen and bryce young really battled it out here and we got our revenge what a brilliant game guys that was a really one again it had everything it had rage it had joy it had stress and panic on my behalf 277 yards 75 percent completion rate two touchdowns 28 attempts 21 completions uh bryce young was better uh, completion wise percentage wise but not yard wise um, 145 yards for Alvin Kamara two touchdowns and yeah Kenneth Walker was good Alton McCaskill Tory Carter Bryce Young as well didn't get any yards but whatever on the receiving side Michael Thomas today for me an absolute MVP performance fantastic stuff he didn't score a touchdown but it was just so good Cortland Sutton also very very important DK Metcalf, Tyler Boyd got one. Very happy about that. A lot of players joining in here on the catch, but at McCaskill, not a lot. Jackson Smith and Jigba, not a lot. Jalen Waddle, not a lot. It was all Metcalf. So that's probably that was probably the problem here. 
Right. Daniel Fulele allowed a sack. Matt Hennessy and Mike McGlinchey allowed a sack. Not too happy about that, by the way. Solo tackle leaders. Catalon and Brooks. Total tackle leader. J Jalen Catalon and Jordan Brooks. Tackles for loss. Quite a few here. Sacks. Three in total. LaShawn Dale got one to Marcus Lawrence and Shaquille Barrett. Zero interceptions today. It was a very, very high quality game, I have to say. Um, but yeah, really can't fault anyone too much. It was a good one. We got the win. Really, really happy about that. In the end, the result is really fair. We just really pulled through here. Uh, never gave up. And uh, yeah, got the winner in overtime. You guys have made a heck of a run and now find yourselves all the way to the Super Bowl. What's been the secret ingredient? And Zach Martin is at the press conference stand. That is nice. It's called the secret ingredient for a reason. We're a tight knit group with our minds set on one thing, becoming champions. It's actually very nice. Super Bowl bound. The potential retirement of center Zach Martin continues to inspire the team. Plus 15 morale for all players. Cool. Cool. I really like that part of the storyline here. Uh, we do pick up a new injury. Let's just hope that it's not too bad. Dallas got it for oh, four weeks. Oh, that hurts. Broken collarbone. Could I? Let me just see. Is there a tight end? That is even that is even possible for me. Um. Let me see. Will Disley. This is the highest ranked tight end that I could go for. Robert Tonyan is here as well. Uh, we've got OJ Howard. Um, what else? Uh, we've got Max Williams. So there actually are quite a few, and I really think I should bring in. I should bring in a new uh, a new tight end that's just really accustomed to the position. Um, let me just try something here. We've got Ramondre Stevenson. All right, we can't go for these because of the age. So who's the best? Daryl Henderson Jr. What would happen if I... I uh, can just change it for him. What would happen if I made a tight end out of him? I'm just going to sign two players now. I know that I have to cut one, but just bear with me on this one. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a big fan of, 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 of Will Disley. I don't know. He never did anything to me, but just not a big fan here. So we're going to get Tonyan. Uh, but I would like to see what happens if I, for instance, uh, switch over um, the halfback to tight end. Because sometimes that really works out very, very well. I've got Daryl Henderson here. Let me just go to edit player. You're going to be along for the ride. You're going to be, you know, full transparency here. I'm just going to try and see what happens. Because I like the dude. I would really like to see him on our team. But, you know. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Robert Tony is way better. Daryl Henderson Jr., man. Sorry about that. <laughs> He's being released as a tight. Oh, by the poor guy. For <laughs> the Super Bowl, we have to bring in... Uh, a new tight end. I'm not happy about that at all because I really like Dallas Goddard and he was such an important player to get here. Uh, but yeah, this is just the way things go. This is the way things go. The Raiders beat uh, the Patriots here. So the Super Bowl game will be Crusaders versus Raiders. That is awesome. Really like that sore line. Uh, also, loving the fact that we beat the, the Seahawks here. That is a revenge arc happening right here. I'm going to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game, even if I raged a little bit. In the end, all is good. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you so much for being here. I uh, really appreciate you guys a lot. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.